Scientists are trying to mine the moon. Here's why. So it turns out the moon isn't just dust and craters. It's actually packed with a lot of valuable resources like helium-3 for nuclear fusion or rare metals for electronics and even frozen water that can be used as rocket fuel and converted to breathable air for astronauts. In fact, NASA's Artemis program is already sending robotic scouts to the moon's south pole in order to map these lunar resources. Private companies are also joining in too, building landers, drills, and even mini refineries to extract and store these materials. Mining the moon is no easy task. Space travel is very costly. There are extreme temperatures, lunar dust that sticks to everything, and the legal debate of who owns the moon. Not to mention the existential question, will humans take it too far once again? Subscribe for more. Scientists are trying to mine the moon. Here's why. So it turns out the moon isn't just dust and craters. It's actually packed with a lot of valuable resources like helium-3 for nuclear fusion or rare metals for electronics and even frozen water that can be used as rocket fuel and converted to breathable air for astronauts. In fact, NASA's Artemis program is already sending robotic scouts to the moon's south pole in order to map these lunar resources. Private companies are also joining in too, building landers, drills, and even mini refineries to extract and store these materials. Mining the moon is no easy task. Space travel is very costly. There are extreme temperatures, lunar dust that sticks to everything, and the legal debate of who owns the moon. Not to mention the existential question, will humans take it too far once again? Subscribe for more.